I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. Did you know that nearly 50% of Americans make New Year's resolutions and only 8% achieve their goals? Now, typical goals and resolutions that people set year after year are things like get healthy, get organized, live life to the fullest, learn new hobbies, spend less, save more, travel, read more, get closer to God. Now, that's exactly how I used to set my New Year's goals, and I hate to say, that most of the time these don't work. In fact, for years of my life, each year was just a repeat of the year before. In fact, listen to this. 30% of people who set New Year's goals or New Year's resolutions, they quit after the first week. 60% quit after six months. Now this one is sad, but only 5% of those who lose weight keep it off. 5%, 95% gain it back. And they said even a high percentage gain more weight back than they originally lost. Now I promise this video is gonna get better, but the truth is the problem with these goals and the reason they don't work year after year is because they're too vague. In fact, statistics show that we tend to set the exact same goals 10 times with no success. And many times these are just thoughts in our heads, but they're not plans on paper. See, when we don't define what we truly want, the goal remains just a wish. Remember this phrase, if it's not on paper, it's a vapor. What does that mean? It's just here today, gone tomorrow. It's just a mist, right? Might as well freshen up a little bit. <laughs> well, I finally learned how to set goals the right way over a decade ago, and it has truly enabled me to travel the world and minister in 13 nations, um, impact young women in safe houses, get our vision board course in 45 nations, teaching people how to make their dreams bigger than their memories. 45 nations, I still can't even believe it. Take my women's conference, the Icing Women's event across the USA and um, share the stage with my heroes. I mean, this month I have Ed Milet as my guest speaker for my conference in January here in Rockwall. Now I'm gonna tell you more about that at the end, but I wanna show you how to design your ideal year so you can live your dreams with my goal setting process that works. In fact, before I get into this real quick, would you do me a favor? I wanna help you start the year strong with this video today, but we're also believing to start the year strong on our YouTube channel. So I just wanted to ask you, would you take one second and just subscribe to our channel? Now, all you have to do is, you know, push that little play button, which is so simple, but it gives a strong message to YouTube that you want to hear Christian motivation. And it means the world to us because I know there's tons of motivators out there, but many of them, you know, they honor the universe. Well, I honor the creator of the universe. Everything I teach comes from God's success book, the Bible. And I really want YouTube to know that there's a demand for it. So if you would do that for me, just subscribe by pushing the button. I appreciate that more than I can even say. Okay, now that you've subscribed, I wanna get back to you for doing that for me. I did this last year for the first time and I decided to just do it again this month because God put on my heart so strong to teach as many people as possible how to get a vision for their lives. And the best way I've discovered to teach you to discover your vision, achieve your goals, is through my courses. But many people can't afford the courses that are anywhere from $97 to $397. So I told my team, I said, I wanna use our online vision board course that sells for $97. I said, I want us to practically give it away for only $8 to anyone and everyone who is ready for 2022 to be your year of achieving your dreams. Now the number eight means new beginnings and that's why we chose $8 because I believe that's exactly what you're headed for. So if you feel God is speaking to you that it's time for your new beginning, then don't miss this limited time offer where I'm practically giving away my best teaching on how to make your vision board for only $8. And what you're gonna get is six online training videos with me. You're also gonna get my ebook and my e-workbook, Dream It, Pen It, Live It. All of this for eight bucks. Does that sound good? So all you have to do to get started is click the link in the description and you are on your way to your best year ever. So, okay, let me get into this. How to design your ideal year. Number one, set clear goals. Now the key word in this is clear. 
Be clear on what you want to achieve this year. Now, we all know that vague goals produce vague results. So in the area of, let's just say your finances, you need to set clear financial goals. For example, how much debt do you want paid off by December 31st? Don't just say, I will be debt free in 2022. No, what is the number? 5,000, 7,000, 27,000. Find out exactly what that number is. You know, I've always remembered the statement by Creflo Dollar where he said, if Jesus himself showed up in your living room today and said, how much money do you need to get out of debt? He said, if you can't answer him, you're not serious about getting out of debt. But if you said, Lord, I am so glad you asked. I need $12,456.82. Then you are ready to get out of debt, right? So this requires doing your homework. Call your credit card company. Call the bank where your auto loan is. Call the home mortgage. Find out what your debt is. You need to know that number. You know, it could be school loans, department store loans. Find out everything. Don't be afraid to see that number because this is the first step in getting you out of debt. So I want you to go to a whole new level of clarity this year. Or instead of saying, in 2022, I will save money. No, that is so vague. Does that mean you save 20 bucks? You need to know exactly how much money you want to save by December 31st. Like when you log into your account, what do you want to see in there? Is it a thousand, 12,000, 35,000? You know, when Dave Ramsey taught me years ago that you need six months of your monthly expenses set aside in an emergency account that you don't even touch, that gave me a target to aim for because I didn't know what I needed or even where to start. But he said, think about it. If you lost your job and you had no income for six months, could you survive? He said, could you make it three months? Could you make it till Friday? Well, see, I had nothing saved when I first learned this. So I set a target for six months. So do your homework. If your monthly expenses are $2,500, then you need to set a big goal of $15,000 in your savings. Now I know that's a lot of money, which leads me to my next point in setting goals. Number two, set three milestone goals for each goal. See, a goal must be broken down into thin slices. You've probably heard that phrase, you know, how do you eat an elephant? Well, I personally don't, but if I did, <laughs> they say it's, you know, one bite at a time. Well, see, many times we set these big lofty goals and then immediately we are just stressed out. See, your goals should stretch you, but not stress you, which means you just need to break it down into more bite-sized pieces. So always set milestone goals on the way to your big goals and celebrate them. It just lets you know you're on the right path. You're going in the right direction. You know, for example, when someone gives me directions, even when I use my GPS, I like to know, Terry, you should see North Park Mall on the right, or you should pass a Sprinkles cupcake shop, which I normally don't pass it. I stop, but <laughs> that's not my point. Or you're going to see a big car dealership on the left. See, those are just little milestone markers that let me know I'm headed the right way. Don't stop now. Keep going. Well, it's the same with your goals. So let's say you set a goal to see a thousand subscribers on your YouTube channel. That number may look so overwhelming, especially if you have 135 subscribers. Well, then set three major milestone goals on the way to the big goal. So I would say 300. If you reach 300 subscribers, that means you more than doubled. Celebrate, make a big deal about it. Then aim for 500. Celebrate that major win. Then strive for 750. See, what happens is you focus more on the milestones, which doesn't stress you out. It keeps you motivated to just keep going towards the big goal. And even if you don't reach your giant goal for the year, the milestones you reached are gonna keep you motivated to reach them next year. And trust me, you are gonna achieve so much more in these 12 months than in the past several years by doing this. You know, they say success by the inch is a cinch. By the yard, it's hard. So, okay, number three, my final point is to make your goals visible. Now, this was actually discovered as the biggest reason goals go unachieved. It's because they're out of sight. So here's my point. The more you look at the images of your ideal future, 
the more you desire them. The more you desire them, the more persistent you become in fulfilling them. So your vision needs to be placed in a prominent place where you're going to view it consistently. You've heard that that old saying that out of sight, out of mind. See, your mind moves toward the dominating images you keep before your eyes. Now, the key words that you keep before your eyes. So there's so much more I want to share about this topic. I mean, this is how I paid off my car, paid off our swimming pool, wrote my first book, got in shape. It was all about being clear on what I wanted, setting milestone goals to keep me going, not getting discouraged along the way, and keeping that vision before my eyes. On my vision board, sometimes on my refrigerator, on my bathroom mirror, or my phone screensaver. So... I would love to help you with the details of setting goals in every area of your life, making your own vision board, and staying focused while you're waiting with my $8 vision board course. So all you have to do to access this course along with my ebook and my e-workbook, Dream It, Pen It, Live It, these books right here, all you have to do is click the link in the description and you've got the tools you need to create your ideal year. And don't forget, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. Hey YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to get more inspirational content, click one of these videos right here. And remember, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.